Head Bust and Boxing, we are back in the house. And uh, it don't bring me any joy to report this. Uh, but I gotta do what I gotta do. The news is the news. Uh, it's been reported that, uh, in my opinion anyway, Hall of Fame boxer, Mel G. Taylor, uh, multiple title holder, and should be Hall of Famer, uh, gold medalist, had, um, has been arrested on multiple charges, uh, aggravated assault, terrorism, um, or terroristic threats, weapon charges. According to NBC, officers arrived at the scene uh, in Philadelphia to a property and a 26-year-old man claimed that Taylor had pulled a revolver on him and uh, the man was trying to trying to evict Taylor, supposedly. And the cops went to his door and uh, he said he wasn't coming out. And basically it was, it was a standoff situation. And uh, SWAT was called and eventually Taylor surrendered after about 90 minutes of an investigation. Or excuse me, of a standoff, investigators had said. So, um... This is just another chapter in the fall of Melody Taylor. Should have been one of the greatest of his time. He was still a pretty good fighter, but uh, if anybody knows anything about Melody Taylor, you'll know he suffered a lot of uh, injuries in that Chavez fight, and he never was the same, even though you know he went on to get some wins, but he was never the same guy. He was a uh, Matter of fact, that's probably what he's more known for, even though he did have other significant wins. But uh, it's a sad day for me, and it should be a sad day for boxing. People like this is why boxing need fixing, because at the end of the day, boxing don't have no insurance policy. It don't have no plans for its, uh, its elderly, like the NFL and whatnot has has developed over the years. You know, once you leave the sport of boxing, it leaves you. Unless you're lucky enough to still have your faculties and be able to, to latch on to one of these commentary or, or analyst positions, then it, it eats you alive. I love the sport, but that's true. And he's the perfect example of it. Tommy Hearns, he's another example. I mean, it's, the list goes on and on. You know, these men can barely function after they leave the game. And the, the sport doesn't do anything for these people. And the sad thing is, like, they get ripped off. <laughs> like, this man probably made, and I, I want to say, I'm trying to think, was he under, I uh, can't think, Lou DeBella, I think, who was he under? I can't I can't remember. I can't remember. But he was under the same the same uh umbrella as Holyfield or Purnell Whitaker. I can't remember. Lou something. I can't I can't remember his name right now. I think he passed up, passed on. But uh at the end of the day, these fighters made millions for the company or promoters that they work for and when they leave the game, they're broke. And I mean broke mentally, physically, and in some cases spiritually. So uh, my prayers go out to Melody Taylor. Hopefully somebody will reach out to him if he if he does get out of this situation and try to help him out. But uh, it's a sad day for me. Anyway, this is Hair Bustin' Boxing, Fight Doctor. Hit me up in the comment section and uh, let me know what you think about the story. And, and send out some prayers for the brother. He need help. And uh, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button. I am out.